So today I want to talk about five ways you can generate clients for your software business. Hey, Cody here, and I want to talk to you today about how you can generate clients for your software business. And I'm going to give you five strategies that work great that we've used to build multiple software companies now. So the first one is identify a specific niche to target. Now, the biggest mistake that I see a lot of startup companies making is that they want to go too broad and they think that their software solves the problem for a lot of different people and they want to target all of those people as opposed to getting really narrow niching down and going after a specific market so a great example of this would be if you have hr uh, hr software for example instead of going after a very specific industry like saying uh we provide hr software for the it industry that company will want to go after every company and say, well, we can provide HR software for everybody. Well, that's a mistake because you're going to be going head to head with well-funded competitors and it's going to be very difficult for you to make a dent in that market. But by going very niche, by, by going very, uh, very targeted, it's going to allow you to enter into a marketplace and you're going to be able to compete where you otherwise wouldn't. So pick a very specific niche is tip number one. Tip number two is to have a content strategy. So if you're bootstrapping your startup, you don't have funding and every penny counts, then a content strategy is going to be a great way to go. Now, content can be a blog post. It can be a uh, forum post. And I guess it can be a podcast, stuff like that. But basically where you're creating content that gets put out there and onto the internet and it stays there for a long time. So you want to be doing an SEO strategy, a content strategy. You want to be doing regular blog posts that solve the problems that your target market or solve answers the questions that your target market are asking. And that way you're going to start to get some traction within Google. You're going to start to get some SEO traffic and that is going to help you over the long term. Every business, every software business really should be uh, built upon a solid con uh, content strategy is my belief. Now, the next thing that is really awesome to do that can get you traffic very quickly for no money at all is by answering questions on Quora. So Quora is a question site. If you're not aware of it, people ask their questions and then crowdsources answers. So regardless of what problem your software solves, there are people that are asking for solutions to that problem. So simply go to Quora.com, I believe it is, and uh, type in the question that you are looking to answer or type in the question that somebody who was, would use your software would ask and answer that question. Now, a great strategy here is using this to create content for your content strategy as well. So look at the questions people are asking specifically, specifically make a blog post about the, that question, uh, a response to that question, and then you can post that on your website, which is going to give you some SEO value. Plus you can answer the question with a link back to your website, which is going to give you a backlink and going to drive some traffic as well. So if you're answering five to 10 questions a day on Quora, then you can expect, you know, 100 to 200 visits per week coming from answering those questions. It's a great way to get some free traffic if you're bootstrapping it and you don't want to spend a lot of money or any money on paid ads. Okay, so we're on to strategy number four now, and that is going to be have a mailing list or have a newsletter. So you want to be driving people back to your website over and over again. The vast majority of people are not going to want to buy the first time they come into contact with your brand. They're going to want to see it a few times. They're going to want to come back. So a great way to do this is to have a mailing list or to have uh, a newsletter. And again, this comes down to a great content strategy. If you're putting great content on your site that's genuinely helpful, that's genuinely useful. Not only are you going to get the SEO value, people are going to want to come back for it again and again, and they're going to want to get on a notification list. So what I like to do is a weekly blog post and just basically repurpose that content. So it's, uh, you know, sign up for the newsletter, then we post a, a, a weekly blog post, and then we simply turn that blog post into the weekly newsletter as well. So you're getting content, you're getting uh, a blog post, and you're getting a newsletter all for the same amount of effort, which is really, really good. Now, last one, number five, is gonna be use retargeting. By having a mailing list or by having a weekly newsletter, something like that, that is a sense of retargeting. That's a form of retargeting. The goal is to retarget people and get them back to your website, and you're doing this through an email list, through email marketing. Now, you can also use 
uh, just standard conventional retargeting such as Facebook Pixel or Google Pixel or the easiest way to get started is by using a company like Perfect Audience for example and just putting their pixel on your site and allowing them to create the retargeting for you. That's an easy cost effective way to get start to get started if you don't want a lot of technical implementation. But basically for anybody who doesn't know, if you're not aware what retargeting is, it basically re it pixels the person when they come to your website and then allows you to show banner ads around the internet and on Facebook and Twitter and, and those type of platforms, stuff like that. So it, it, it allows you to continuously bring that person back to your platform. And again, if you've got a great content strategy, if you're putting very helpful, very useful content on your website on a regular basis, they're gonna to wanna to come back as well. So when they see your retargeting banner, they're gonna be happy to click on it and come back and get some really useful information. So that's the five strategies that we've got here for uh, generating clients for your startup software company, for your SaaS company. We actually have 10 in total. We've got 10, 10 ways to generate clients for your SaaS company, for your startup. And uh, we've put those on a blog post on the website. I'll put the link below this video here. So if you wanna see all 10 ways to generate uh, traffic and generate clients for your startup SaaS company, click the link in the description and that'll take you to the website, to the blog. We also have uh, 50 free leads for you if you would like with the lead lantern. If, you, if you're looking to generate leads for your startup software company, then email marketing is also a great way. We talk about that in the blog post. We'll give you 50 free leads on us to get started. So click on the link below this video and we'll see you very soon.